Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, we are going to be doing our first ever My League My Career series. If you guys enjoy this, subscribe, like, comment down below, turn on post notifications, and let's get right into the video. Looking at the roster, Tyrell Jackson, your boy, point guard, shooting guard, 6'5", 205 pounds, number 0. If you recognize the face creation, it is uh, Kevin Porter Jr. on the Houston Rockets. But the thing is, the reason why I used him is because, like, his hairstyle, he's got, like, a cool face creation, his hairstyle is sick. And then, of course, you know, he's got some fire tattoos, so I figure that would be great. The team I'm on is the Oak Hill Academy Warriors. I'm on a team with, of course, the one, the only, Dior Johnson, as well as Jalen Ricks, uh, Duane Ryder, and Trevor Whitehead. So, looking at the rotation, we all have 48 minutes. Um, looking at the CPU sliders, I'm just going to have it on Pro if you guys want me to put it to All-Star or, you know, Superstar or Rookie, whatever you guys want me to do. Uh, if you want to flame me in the comments for not putting out a Hall of Fame, that's on you. If you guys are curious, we are playing Kennedy Chandler um, and the Sunrise Academy Buffaloes. I think that's their team. These are all of our jerseys. So we got the orange, the white, and the black, uh, which is our alternative jersey. Obviously, we're home, so we're going to be using our yellow jerseys. And, yeah, let's get into our first game. All right. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this, or you guys want to see a part 2, 3, so on and so forth, uh, make sure you comment down below that you want to see it. Maybe say, oh, do blank. Any suggestions in the comments? This is a free zone. Leave any feedback as you please. Uh, so Tyrell Jackson is a 6'5 point guard, so people are comparing him already to um, Oscar Robinson, which is an honor to be compared. Well, not me, but that my, my player that I created to be compared. Now I decided to, rather than taking the slow grind of grinding all the badges, picking a specific build, that I would do it in my league as a my career type thing. This way I also get to pick what high school team I'm on, and it's not fake. I can also pick the G League or the college route, kind of like the regular my career on next gen, not current gen, even though I'm going to be doing this gameplay on current gen. Uh, I do not have next gen, so if you want to see next gen gameplay, uh, I would click away, but, uh, if you're willing to give me a try, I'm down. Here is our upcoming schedule. Wizards, Hornets, Suns, Nuggets, who are all no teams, so I'm not worried about those. The only, there's only a couple actual, like, real teams. Those guys are all just nobodies, really. Uh, yeah, this is our things. These starting lineups, Kennedy Chandler, Galore Humba, Kendall Brown, Kenny, I believe this is Poto, and... Our lineups is us, Dior Johnson, um, Jalen, Whitehead, so on and so forth. I can't remember all of them. It's our home court advantage at home, and we lose the tip off. Wow, what a great sign. That is just a wonderful sign right there. Okay, so starting on off, Brown has the ball. Okay, passing over to Kennedy. I am one of the better defensive players in high school. So, oh, and already an and one. That's what you like to see in the chat. Makes his first bucket. We get to shake a screen. Oh, and he misses the second one. Already up to a one-all lead, but it's okay. We got the ball. Nice possession. Maybe we can start off with a three-point shot to start it off, and he makes it. Splash, baby. You already know. Okay. Kennedy Chandler with the possession. Um, okay, let's go. I believe his name is Mumba. Uh, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, just, again, let me know in the comments. Um, and he makes the mini, really? Okay, so it's a tie game, 3-3. Three, three. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, stretch out the lead. Um, ooh, one thing I did forget to do is fix the coach game, coach game plan. So that everyone, so it's a five-man bench, aka there's no bench, because all of them are roster spaces, it's just the starting lineups. So, there's kind of going to be 40 overalls running around on this court. Or at least there's going to be three, which is not good. Uh, I will make sure to fix that um, in the next game, aka the next episode, which hopefully you guys want. Uh, 
if you guys aren't even in the comments, I mean, two people watch my videos, so, green beans, starting it off, let's go, already starting the game off with about ish, it's great, it's just, it's, it's great, it's six points and it's great. Pass it over to Dior. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to, I'm tr guys, I'm also trying to prove that I can be a good teammate, good passer, good rebounder. Oh, and my boy Whitehead slams it down. Coming off the assist by, I believe, yep, Dior Johnson. Um, okay, okay, okay. Kennedy Chandler is definitely their best player and kind of their carrier. He's a good, I admit, he is a good playmaker. Um, definitely a good shooter, good ball handler. His defense is not bad, and his dunking is pretty good. So he's one, probably one of the better two-way players. Um, better on offense than he is defense, but he still isn't bad on defense. He's also, like me, one of the better defenders um, in high school. Uh, I'm not sure, because uh, I don't really keep track of high school teams' team rosters. Maybe they're high in the seeds, maybe they're not, I really don't know. I know Kennedy Chandler is a very good player. Uh, I believe he goes in the draft, um, I think 2023, it might be 2022. But I know it's not this upcoming year, the draft, that I hopefully will be in. I can either take the G League route or the college route, leaning towards G League. Um, because then I can kind of experiment. Plus, if I do college, it may not be as entertaining, yada yada, you, you, you get the point. So I, I think I might rather do the G League because also that would be cool to play alongside like Jason Green, Isaiah Todd. Uh, college, I can obviously play with like Cade Cunningham, Evan Mobley, Jonathan Kuminga, Isaiah Mobley, Jalen Suggs. Um, so I, I think it could be there. Uh, Alright, I'm curious on who I can get this assist to. DR Johnson, nope, with a pump fake. Jalen Rex, that's out to me. That is not an easy bucket. Oh, wait, it is? Oh, never mind. I made me do a fade DP. Okay. That's not what you like to see, but it's okay. You, you can't be greedy for the points, guys. You can't be greedy for the points. Oh, no, 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 can I Chandler? Oh, oh, thankily, goodness. Thankily, bankily. That, it was a, oh, my God. He just got demolished. That was definitely a foul. Which could have been an end one, but how can I complain? I picked number zero in spire of the one, the only, Damian Lillard. There's obviously other good zero players, but his peak kind of inspired me. Not really, because Damian Lillard's not an outstanding dunker. Um, he, in my opinion, hit the second best shot of the decade. Of course, being to snatch out OKC with a little wave picture. Oh, it's iconic. The first is obviously the Kawhi Leonard bounce shot against Philly. Um, over Joel Embiid, who, keep in mind, wasn't, like, amazing at the time, but he was still good, he, and they weren't, like, front runners to win the championship, because they traded DeMar DeRozan, and everyone thought they were crazy, probably one of their best franchise, franchises player, I mean, maybe Chris Bosh and Vince Carter in the conversation, they only had Kawhi for one year, and he's technically the best player they ever had, some people make the argument that Kyle Lowry's even better, even though DeMar DeRozan, I believe, is there longer, if not, it's, like, definitely close, like, one year or tied, um, so, there's definitely a chance, but, I mean, I would give it to DeMar, because DeMar's a better overall player, um, and he's a better leader, he's also the, just a better um, like, he's pretty much the better all-around player than he is, and in my opinion, he did more for Toronto. I mean, people thought he there the Toronto was crazy for playing what was widely known as their best franchise player ever in, of course, DeMar DeRozan and, you know, Jakob Portal and, like, a future first for... Kawhi Leonard, who, well, did win two-time Defensive Player of the Year and was a Finals MVP on the Spurs. They also got Danny Green. I think that they actually underpaid for uh, for Kawhi because they gave up DeMar DeRozan, Jakob Pertl, and a first just to get Kawhi and Danny Green. I mean, DeMar DeRozan at the time 
was definitely a similar type of player. He's a shooting guard, small forward. Kind of like Kawhi, but Kawhi can play power forward. He can play shooting guard to power forward. He just obviously can't play center and point guard. I believe Kawhi is 6'7". I believe he's 6'7". He might be 6'8". He might be 6'9". I just know he's not... He actually, he might be 6'6". Six, six. I really don't know. I know it's between 6'6 six, six and 6'9". Six, I believe DeMar DeRozan is 6'7". If not, he is 6'8". I know that for sure. Because uh, I remember doing a Spurs rebuild on my free time. Uh, it wasn't anything serious. By the way, your boy, he is a bucket. Like, he's just getting buckets after buckets. But he's also, he's a good playmaker. Ear my neck bubble. Sorry, that was, that, that was rude. Uh, that was rude. For some reason, they're running roster space. Which, uh, if you don't know, I mean, I kind of feel bad because I forgot to do it. So this game is going to be a blowout. Probably, like, by 30-ish points. <sighs> What I mean? Oh, slams it in. That puts some sugar on top. Oh, bam! He reminds me of that one guy. Oh, I, oh, I remember. I don't remember his name. It's not Jordan Kellenog. I think that's how you pronounce it. I might be butchering his name. Okay, I guess they're just gonna hold it out for the first quarter ends, but the, the shot clock's different. Um, come on, Jalen Rex. D, let's go. Can we get that buzzer beater? No, we cannot. Oh, but they get the shot off at the end. Okay, we are double their points up by 13, which is their actual points. I mean, that's a good start, definitely. Um, oh, look at the shot of me. Look how, look how clean I look. Kevin Porter Jr. definitely has a cool face creation in 2K. There's some guys that I would like to have a better face creation, like, um... I still think Shay needs an updated face creation because he, he does not look like that at all anymore. Um, Lamelo needs a little bit more of a beard, but I don't think that's a crazy one. Like I don't I don't think that they should like hop on that and just be like okay we have to do that. I would rather Shay to get his hairstyle changed because you can change players' hairstyles um, in uh, in 2K Next Gen 21 Next Gen obviously. But, let's be honest, they didn't really do that crazy much with current gen, which is ironic because they even tried to do next gen even more. Next gen is definitely better for, like, my team play now, my NBA, you know, WNBA. But it's just not good for neighborhood, and even to a certain extent, my career. It's definitely not bad, like, particularly bad for my career. I do like the th uh, way that you can do G League. They didn't do it at, in current gen, my career, when you obviously did the prelude. Um, which I kind of wish they did, because I feel like that would have been kind of cool. Um, obviously, the G League teams, I believe, are not real. Obviously, because it doesn't matter what team you pick, you get the same s roster. And that same, like, guy that looks like, I think his name's like Vladimir or something. But the G League's also weird, because there's a lot of older players. Because they're either really young players that were drafted out kind of like low picks and just went to the G League because they were like, you need to get better. Or they're old guys that are really bad that are just in the G League. One thing that I have to say is funny um, about 2K is like, when you get down to later Sims, this obviously makes sense. You get down to later Sims, and because you obviously know guys like James Harden and, um, and like Kevin Durant, it's funny when they get traded for a G Leaguer. But obviously it's because they're old age. <laughs> but it's just kind of funny to see it. Oh! Oh my goodness, no way. No way! Who them oh uh, Who them mean? Let's go. Now one thing I do want to talk about, about high school, obviously on the topic... Is Josh Crush for you guys on Josh Crush for you? I believe he, I don't know what college he actually goes to. Um, but I know he, when he played in high school, there was a game where Quavo did in this game. I don't know if he knows Quavo personally. Oh, when he slams it down. But I don't know if he, um, knows Quavo personally or like someone there knows Quavo personally. But all I do know is that he pulled up to his game, Josh Christopher and his teammate dropped 42 and his teammate dropped like 27 or 26. 
I'm like, what? How do you do that? Okay, they are finally putting in their starters. Uh, I don't know why they keep taking out Kennedy Chandler when he's their leading scorer. He's pretty much the only person that scored on that team. Alright, shot clock is about to be done. But he gets the steal out to Whitehead. But it's fine because I get the lob. What I mean, baby. Let's go. Throws it in. That was a clean lob. That was not Kobe to shock energy. But definitely LeBron AD energy. Or AD to LeBron energy. I believe LeBron has statistically thrown more assists, aka lobs, to AD than a AD has thrown, but I definitely thrown lobs to LeBron. It's not like impossible. I mean, Damian Lillard's shot where he blew out OKC was my favorite shot of the decade, just because I love Damian Lillard. He's like my favorite player in the NBA. He's also, if you don't know, he's really, like, I mean this, really, really nice. He's kind of got that Dirt Nowinski feel, where everyone just knows him, and everyone knows he's such a nice guy. He literally took off, like, a certain amount of money to pay his staff during, um, the 1920 season, I believe. Uh, I could be completely wrong about this entire story. Um, but he's just a nice guy, gives back, and he's, he's a great player to watch. I mean, he's so athletic, he's probably the best deep three, aka, AKA logo shooting player almost ever maybe obviously curry is also like notable there maybe like trey young with the daggers and current day um there are but there's also guys like real who i believe have taken definitely a couple of logo shots <laughs> let's go throws it in and my boy Ryder has sharp take. We are going to be unstoppable. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Dunk contest race. I might do the dunk contest. I don't know. Obviously, there's no dunk contest in real life, but I am the number one player. Makes sense. I am a great dunker. <laughs> Not gonna brag, but I am a great dunker. Like, I'm so cool. I dunk like a lot of really good dunkers. Um, I wish one thing. I wish Nate Robinson had a dunk package. Unfortunately, he um, doesn't. Even though he's one of the best dunkers of all time. If I had an all-time dunk contest, hmm, that's tough. Obviously, I have to have, easily, I got to have Vince Carter in there. Best dunker of all time. And I feel like I have to have Jordan in there, too. See, the question is, is who else? I mean, Nate Robinson's there, but... Like, Dwight Howard's there. Ooh, slows it in. That was a nice play by Tyrell Jackson. Who that mean? You gonna die. <laughs> All right. But me on Kennedy Chandler, probably the two best players on each of these teams. Ooh, he's a very good ball hander. He got past me. Oh, and one. He is definitely single-handedly carrying his team. I'm not, on the other hand, not. I mean, I have, like, I am doing really well for my team and definitely being a big part of my team's success. But, like, at the same time, I also have, like, guys like Dior, John Isaiah Ryder, who has the mismatch, but I'm going to pass it over to my boy. No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, pass it back to me. Okay, now I'm going to hope my boy gets open in the pay, and he does because he knows me as a person. Let's go. Shooting 20 out of 22 from the field, aka 91% with the steal. White head. What do I mean? Get it poppin'. Go, 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 get it poppin'. Get it poppin'. That's probably my favorite song from Reese. I don't know why. It's not even, like, particularly old or new. What? Why did Tyrell have to foul? Okay, 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 okay. Oh. That's awkward. Okay, we're about to be at the end of the second quarter. 13 seconds left. Oh, I thought it was going to get a backcourt violation. But it doesn't matter, because he goes through the paint. He is so fluent in the paint. He can just drive through anyone. It's what I love about my boy, Tyrell Jackson. 
I definitely like my slasher build just, just a little bit more. I, it's still like kind of the same dunking, but there's something about my slasher build. It just is so great. And it gets an 8 second violation. That's tough! Okay, uh, please don't immediately pass it. And they immediately pass it to me. Okay, I'm not gonna hit a shot at halftime. Um, I am like genuinely. Like, I mean, if I could change it now, I would, but I can't change it to the point that I just have to have them. I don't know why they would put in 40 overall. Like, eh, yeah, you can give them minutes, but you can also just kind of, like, cut them. Like, it's possible. Yeah, I saw that midi. That was a nice midi. I mean, he wasn't really guarded that much, so it makes sense why he would make it. Of course, my nice little top of the arc beginning start three. Okay. Oh, and he dunked it in. Shot! Green! Nothing but net. Swish and splash. In the second quarter. I think second quarter for me was a little bit better. But my team did even better. Let's go. I was also, I believe, where that sick lob was. Shooting 79% from the field. 15 rebounds. 18 assists. 5 steals. And 3 blocks. What's up, Ernie? What's up, Shaq? Watch out, Kenny the Jet Smith. Where's Charles Barkley? I don't know. At halftime, I mean, this is definitely exciting at halftime. I'm not the biggest fan of halftime shows, apart from, like, I know at the Super Bowl, I believe, like, Neo and stuff performed. No, no, no it wasn't Neo, it was The weekend. Yeah, it was The weekend. Uh, I remember Neo, I don't know, I, I don't remember the weekend performance that much. I think he did Blinding Lights. He might have done, um, another, what was that other song called? Let Me Bleed Out, I think that's what it was called, or something Bleed Out. I don't know. I might go over here, but I do kind of want some assists. I want a diamond like magic, you feel me? Oh, can I get that? I cannot get the rebound. Okay, okay. I love how it tells me to switch. <laughs> it's micro, I can't switch. Are you kidding me, girl? Okay, I'm passing it over to my boy, Jalen Hicks. And let's go. I have five assists, three rebounds, and 24 points. Pretty good stats. My goal is to get a triple-double. It's going to be hard because it's hard to get them rebounds. But I may be able to get a double-double. Uh, maybe like 10 or 11 assists. I can do that. I'm, I'm not the best passer in the world. I'm not the best playmaker in the world. But I'm definitely probably one of the best all-around players in the entire high school scene. Uh, I'm up there with, like, Amoni Bates. Um, he's really good at defending. Um, I did a career simulation on the Kings, and in his rookie year, he got all rookie, or not all rookie, all NBA second team. He was an 85 overall, and he got rookie of the year, scoring 25 and 50, 40, 90 splits. What? That is absolutely crazy, man. That is insane. That is insane. Not insane. That's insanity. That's crazy. But then, the team won the championship. It was the Portland Trailblazers. They had Damian Collins, Amoni Bates, and Damian Lillard. I guess that was their big three because CJ McCollum got hit really bad with uh, regression. Him and, C and Drew Holiday, I find, get hit super hard with regression. Like, they're not bad players at all, and they're not going to regress that much. They're only, what, 30, 31? CJ McCollum's like 28. Cesar McCollum probably would have been an all-star if he didn't get injured. I think that kind of slowed him down. Um, yeah, he probably would have been. He probably would have been like the last pick just because not many people like his play style. He does actually shoot pretty well from the mid-range shot and three-point shooting shot. He'll, he would probably, in 2K terms, make a three-point contest. He also can average really well, just for you. Come on, pull up! Oh, I thought I can get that pull up midi, but doesn't fall. Nice little rolly. Okay, Kasha. Oh, pump fake. Around back to Kenny Chandler, and it pounces off. <laughs> it's so funny. I find that one of the funniest plays is when you like shoot a half court or whatever, and it falls into the stands and like hits someone like on the bench, <laughs> and they just don't care. It just hits them, and they are just like. Not did anything happen? They don't know. It's uh, I think I think it's just funny. 
pass it over to my boy Jalen. I believe Jalen Ricks still does play. He might have been transferred, but I don't think he is. Uh, this could be a wrong roster completely. Like, these guys could be on completely different teams. But as far as I am concerned, uh, these are the correct teams. I will show you the power rankings um, next episode. Um, at the beginning, before um, it starts. So, stay tuned for that. Okay, come on, block him, block him, block him! Yes! No, 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 no! Please? Okay, roster space. That's not even roster space, is it? But he still made the free throw. Yeah, that's not even roster space, it's Humbia. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Come on, pass it over to my boy, Tyrell Jackson. This is one of the not as good teams. Um. Hopefully we can get a perfect record. I mean, if we do just genuinely lose, lose, not lose, lose, then that's on me. I mean, that's that's just sad that I would literally lose. I mean, I don't know. Shoot it! Shoot it! Oh, and he's whacked! Co, what are you doing? But they, of course, got a shot clock violation because they held the ball for too long. That was an insane block. Goes up. Bam! Out of your hands. Makes sense. Bit taller. Better defensive. Lee, first better awesome offensively. When a not as good offense player goes up to a really good defense player, it's just so funny. They kind of like... It's like Kawhi on... Jonathan Isaac. It's just like... Bro, Jonathan Isaac is not scoring. Especially now that he's injured, but I mean, like, for example, like, before injury. Okay, okay, third quarter, about a minute 30 left. Oh, it's your space, you're not making that, you have a 25 three-pointer, calm down. Oh, lob, lob, oh, that I mean, threw the lob to the wrong person, and I didn't mean it to make a lap, but it was so nice, nice little... That's a little sh shot. Now people are comparing me to Magic. I'm a good playmaker. Nice ball handler. I'm 6'5 point guard. I mean, obviously Magic was 6'9 point guard. Which, yeah, kind of obvious why. I am going to make the adjustments, actually, because we're playing against roster space. I'm going to guard Dior, Delore, Moomba, and then I'm going to put Kennedy Chandler on Dior Johnson. Well, Dior Johnson is going to guard Kennedy Chandler. That way, I'm not guarding roster space. We should take him out. They took him out. Okay, that's just great. Okay, I'm really gonna have to fix this before I do this. I promise I will. Okay. About a minute left in the third quarter, and then, of course, it goes to the fourth quarter. Um, blocked. Let's go. That's what I like to see. Oh, dunk! What do I mean? Legs spread. You know, it reminds me of Clyde Drexler. I feel like he did that dunk. Maybe that's, I, it probably is just like a signature dunk, and I'm just tripping. Maybe I can get another steal, maybe? Probably not. Do, 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 do. Come on, let's go! Hey! What do I mean? I have like a 40 standing dunk, and I don't know if that was a standing dunk or it was just a really close driving dunk. I think it was really close because I have like a 40 standing dunk, so I don't understand how I do it. And it wasn't a layup, so. I mean, like, I wasn't directly under the hoop, so. Probably was what happened. I just let roster space get a bucket. Yup. Come on. Oh, it's a foul with 0 0.7 seconds left. Um, no point. Just, yeah, okay. Okay. My boy, Tyrell, have a great game. 
nice little picture of roster space shoot. Yeah, I don't know who that is. I believe that is Whitehead. Gear Johnson, I think he's having a good game. Same thing with um, Isaiah Ryder. No, Isaiah Ryder. What am I talking about? Just Ryder, I'm going to call him. I'm going to call Whitehead, Whitehead. I'm going to call Dior Johnson, Dior Johnson. And I'm going to call Jalen Hicks, Jalen. And then I'm going to call myself Tyrell Jackson. Because, or should I call myself a junior? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. No, I'm leaving him open. That's not good. Okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. We're still up by 30 points, so I pretty much shouldn't be complaining. I mean, I don't think at this rate we're going to lose. Oh, bam! Shots! Let's go! Oh, what I mean, baby? Let's go! Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Last guy's hoisting us. Bro, you're trying to post fade a roster space? God, that ain't happening. I was going to throw the lob and I realized it was kind of in a weird angle to throw a lob. It's not really that type of thing to throw a lob. Throwing a lob is not really like someone throws it all the way like from the thing and they come straight from the front and running in. It's not really the type of place you would throw a lob because it would just be an awkward lob. Obviously there's like no trading or anything. Which I'm hopefully glad about. <laughs> um... KKK, okay, okay, okay. pass over to me. Three point shot in. Too deep. Too deep. Alright, my three point shot's not the best. Uh, I'm only scored 11 in the first half, which isn't the best, but also it's not over. And I made two out of three of my three pointers, so. Yeah. Currently, right now, I am two for four. Uh, hopefully, I can, like, maybe shoot, like, two more and then make it both times and I get four for six I mean I would like that maybe I can shoot like another one and get four for seven but maybe for four for six I do like finishing in the pain getting a dime though I, I I do enjoy that come on Tyrell on roster space I wonder who's gonna win <laughs> it's pretty much they can only score when they're directly wide in pain Pretty much the only time I can score. Because, no matter what, if you're wide and paint, it doesn't matter how what overall you are, you can make it. Unless you time it like dog one. Then, then you obviously can't make it. Okay. I am shooting, I believe, perfect from uh, the free throw line, which is obviously good. I just realized something. Yeah, we're kind of 79 and 45. Ooh, we blew them out. Uh, I believe this game is locked up. Yeah, it's going to go to us. I mean, there's maybe there was a chance like in the third quarter to bring it back. I think the biggest comeback of all time was like 30 points or something. So, I mean, you're going to break the record, dude? No, if I got li if literally if we get one bucket, it's not a record. Yeah, I'm not gonna pass it to roster space. You think I'm crazy? Step back three, Harden, Harden, let's go. Um, I'm kind of basing now. I'm basing this off of Big O. I'm like Big O. I can shoot like a demon. I'm a god playmaker, god defender, and I can dunk. AKA, I can do everything. I'm not the best rebounder, but I'm not a horrible rebounder either. I just don't go for rebounds as much as some people would like me to go. Which, I, I mean, I guess is respectable, but, yeah. My whole point is to perform really well. Um, come on. Let's go! Let's go! Shucks. Let's go, come on. Oh. 
Okay then, wow. What do I mean? Oh, I thought I was gonna get that fucking kind of climb over. Uh, Kennedy Chandler, I believe that is. Oh, when he missed? Imagine missing. We're the best player on your team. Couldn't be me. Uh, I'm probably gonna miss. I mean, I missed multiple different attempts, so I can't even really say that. Yep, so I think it's official. We won this. I mean, it was official pretty much from the start of the fourth quarter, let's be honest. Official by the start of the third, to be honest. Whole game was just a blowout. Kind of controlling the team, not really playing. I mean, it's not even that they're bad on defense either. It's just we're so dominant. Just so good. Oh, that's a green! Oh my gosh! Ah, oh, sheesh! Holy Jarvis. That's insane, bro. But a minute left. Ooh, Kenny Jalen with that nice little curry slide. I, I believe that was a curry slide. Could be wrong. I mean, roster space out to Kennedy Chandler. Oh, well, I should have guarded him, but it's okay. We get the rebound anyways. Uh, that's good. Uh, I wanted rebounds. Jackson, please, please, please. I'm wide open. I'm wide open. I'm, uh, whatever. Just pass it to Dior Johnson. I'm going to go over to the little circle because I want to and I need to and I'm down for you. Always, KP. <laughs> but he can get the rebound. Oh, I thought he could get. Come on, you can get the rebound, dude. All right. Couple seconds differing the shot clock and game clock differential is only about a couple seconds. I just repeated my own sentence. That's what you like to see. Oh, shot clock's about to be out, bro. I think we're just waiting it, and that's it. Official, 86 to 51. Oklahoma Hail versus the Buffaloes. This was a blow. Out and a half completely but one thing we have to say is what a night for Tyrell Jackson in a senior year fresh and ready next year we'll be going to hopefully the college of his choice who knows possibly could go to the G League or just never do college basketball I really don't know Okay, so coming back, everyone, and I mean everyone, is talking about Tyrell's first game. He has exploded on the internet, shooting 42, 4, 10, 1, 1, double, double, shooting 17 for 21 from the field, 3 for 5 from the three point line, and almost perfect from the line. And it's not even like he didn't pass or get any of his teammates any buckets at all. Because in reality, his next person teammate, Dwayne Ryder, got 17, and I almost getting himself a double double. Dior Johnson almost got a double double too with nine assists, obviously having 10 points and two rebounds. This whole game will be a night to remember. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. Peace.